couple things to talk about today. I must say that I am um, having fun watching the flopping and groping of Mbot. Um, and it's interesting to see what some people are saying. Uh, I know I'm going to end up having to come and save the day. Right now, there's really no guidance. Um, their ARB isn't really famous for having uh, customer service. We're all aware of that. And what everyone is about to go through is what I went through when I first began programming and trading with bots, my own bot. And there was a lot to learn, a lot of roadblocks, a lot of error messages, um, most of which are user error messages. And so I guess I want to throw out a couple little tips. I don't want to spill the beans. I'll tell you, here's what I'm doing. I'm watching RJ of Digit Coins. I'm watching him because he's the only one out of all these YouTubers I've found that's actually, I think, I think is trying to is going to tackle Mbot um, on recording, and so I'm sitting and waiting back to see. Um, I've made positive Mbot trades, um, and I just I just want to see. I'm I'm observing right now. I'm observing two things, actually three. A, the company, how the company is going is handling this. Right, arbitraging. B, uh, the YouTubers, some YouTubers. C, the flopping gropers. And there is a, there's a pretty decent amount of them. All this hype, all these people are talking about Mbot. I tell you, um, less than a thousand bucks a trade. You, I don't, I, I, it's probably not worth it. And you know what? I told you guys that I was going to be here to tell you the truth, and actually navigate you through it because it's not. Things aren't always what they seem, right? Opportunities aren't always there. Um, opportunities aren't always there. They're in they're in certain select places. Um, if you know, uh, let me let me show. You. There's one guy in here who's like, I made a trade and it, it was negative, and I asked him how much it was for, and he didn't respond. Um, and so, okay, let's see here. Let's see here. I want to. I want to show this here, because um, it's going to be where everyone's going to have to navigate. There's going to be some navigation here. And now these are sensitive times when people could be fudding. They could be telling the truth. There could be errors. It's user error. Um, damn it! It's here somewhere. All right. Whatever. Anyways. The guy said he made a trade and it, and it was for a loss because of fees and everything. And uh, if you're going to make a trade for $300 or $500, you're going to come out with a loss. All right. Um, a thousand would be the minimum. So and, and anything above that, you'll be, you'll be all right. It is a bitch dealing with APIs and uh, exchanges and little roadblocks. And there's a couple roadblocks, and there isn't really much here coming from arbitrage to diagnose the problem. There isn't customer service, um, and I can't really blame them. You know why Profit Trailer didn't have? Uh, well, yeah, they did. They had a Discord, uh, and there's always people there that were helping, and it was just nonstop flopping gropers. Um, so that's pretty much how this is probably the Telegram is. Um, I recommend to arbitrage and they use a discord because there can be channels and different selections like there's different subjects within the mbot rather than it just being a shit show of one place there should be a discord for the mbot help okay um so yeah we'll see here i it's it's i'm still up in the air i'm starting to get a little more motivated watching everyone flop and grope 
Um, I like kind of seeing everyone suffer first, just like I did with Profit Trailer, just like we do with Crypto Hopper, Profit Trailer, Trade Bots in general. I am the best bot person on YouTube, bar none. And all those videos are still there. Like the, 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 the proof's are already there. We built the, the community. People are losing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars with the people they're already following. Um, we we're able to make it right, and I'll be able to do the same damn thing with this. Um, but I'm going to sit back and watch for a little bit because it's just, it's, it's um, important and it's fun. Let's see what the company does. Let's see what you people do. Look into yourself. I remember when I first started with trade bots. Um, I remember with like computers in general, and like I used to play like Counter Strike and stuff. But I, I, if I saw a black screen and I had to type some stuff to program something, scared the hell out of me. I am not a programmer. I was never a coder. Screw that. But you know, with with Profit Trailer and trade bots, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I watched YouTube videos. YouTube videos. Hard, terrible YouTube videos that were so boring, um, rambling people, trial and error, my own error, looking up, you know, just self-teach. You can self-teach yourself. Like, you can figure it out. You can do it. But you got to put the time in. You got to put the time in. And, and, and honestly, the hardest part is setting up all your APIs, going through all these exchanges, all this bullshit, baloney X. Is giving me problems now. Now they don't want. They're d d screwing up my verification, and so um, that is why um, really having your own per ha having like the uh, having a trade without having to plug in all your APIs and shit would be nice. But with any normal trade bot, like you gotta plug in all your own exchanges. So uh, is what it is. Okay, so let's see what the community does. I'm going to see what the community does. I'm starting to get a little motivated. But I like watching people flop and grow up. And who knows, maybe I'll come and save the day. Because right now, uh, RJ is your best best. So let's go DigiCoin. Let's give him a round of applause. Let's motivate him. I want to see RJ, a man who's never done anything like this before. A nice retired gentleman. I want to see what he can do. I want to see if he wins, loses, or draws. Next subject, I have to bring it up. Times, like it, it just blew my mind how certain things were handled, and uh, I'm frustrated about it. And then I tried to make my concerns about it, and I got blackballed from Discord. I could Boy, I remember that sound. That happened to me too with daily dips and a couple other things. Now, this is not a shot at Time is Crypto. Um, I actually. You know, liked him, and he said some things. He's he, he's said in the past that he thinks I'm a scammer and whatnot. But you know, whatever. I uh, commented on his video. I thought he was going to be uglier than he is. He's actually not a bad-looking guy. Um, and so he took the mask off. But good for him. Um, but I told him Jason was going to mess it up. Even I mean, uh, oh my God, Daily Dibs is dead, and. They're, they try to take my ideas. People are copying what I'm saying. I hear it everywhere. People try to copy my ideas. The war game, all this shit. And um, they just they just don't get it done. They fuck it up. And um, I can empathize with Time is Crypto. Didn't even talk about it. So after that, I was like, I just can't, I can't participate in Daily Dibs anymore. So. I will have to say this. Um, I, I respect him for, for, you know what I mean? Like, he tried to, he had a little thing going with the community, I guess. And um, he had his own little community, you know. Uh, we don't need to go back in the past, whatever. But at the end of the day, Daily Divs is dead. It sucks. And um, the main person to blame is Jason. That is true. Oh, and Mr. Time is Crypto. And I hope the community sees the people that are shooting. He says he'll do a one on one trade. He wants to burst people in the trade. Intentionally. So I I don't know what else to say. Like, I, 
answered over what I've already been through in the community and stuff, and then like really ask. I'm looking for when he says um, I'm working on a big project right now that I think will be done in about a month and a half. Not a DAP, not an investment platform, nothing like that. Been thinking about it and working on it for a while. So I'm super excited about it. And uh, I'm going to start doing trading stuff. There we and go. challenging people oh. to, like, trade against me. I want to do some Who are you going to challenge, man? Who are you going to challenge? You know, I know you and Oracle hate each other, which is fine. You and I had a little beef, you know, but I'm a grown-ass man. I like you. I, for, you know, for some reason, uh, the, the mask coming off, I, I, I like you a little. I, I uh, you know, whatever. I told you to keep the mask on, but it's all good. Some uh, videos on that. I so we'll see what's up. Let's see you trade, bro. Let's 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 see what's up, man. Win, lose, or draw. Uh, yeah, we should we should make sep we should make like Bitmex accounts or something. Do a little one on one, and um, I'm the A side, you know. Because I, no one else will do it against me. No one else wants to trade against me. Speaking of, let's talk about um, what's next. And we're probably just going to keep bouncing down this line. That that that's that's the the truth. Although we see some similar patterns, we see similar patterns. This is the two up, two down, one up, then down. Two up, two down, one up, whoops. One up, one down. We'll see if that plays out. Other than that, we're having a good time. That's why I wanted to do a mask video. Shout out to Gigi Coins. Good luck, bro. Shout out to the flopping gropers. Good luck. I love seeing you guys squirm. We'll see if you can do it. And um, just now would be a good time to make sure you don't try to pull any jabs or do anything. You know, if you're going to say something good or bad, back it up. Don't make shit up. And um, don't be afraid to help people too because you're going to need it. Uh, they're going to need it. Bots always need to be updated. They always need to be patched. So this this is gonna this is a work in progress. And um, welcome to the bot world. If you thought you were just gonna fire it up, start it up, and everything was gonna run smooth, you're wrong. It's gonna take some time. You're gonna have to go through some roadblocks. There's going to be problems, and we'll see if you think it's worth it or not. Okay? Peace, baby. No one gets it done like we do. Get some. We'll go one-on-one -on -one with anybody, uh, whether it's sports, betting. By the way, we're firing our last fucking guy because he start, he's not getting the job done anymore. My own picks were doing good. I was two for three on football. We hit the Patriots. We hit the Vikings. Missed Joe Flacco on the Baltimore Ravens. Um, poker, everyone knows how we do it. We win first place on our streams all the damn time. Shout out to the people that were on my stream yesterday. We took first place again. No big deal. We don't sit on those little boy tables for five twenty dollars. We're playing a couple hundred bucks at least. You know what I'm saying? The max that they let us do. Um, shout out to anybody that was in the car with me last night. We were uh, rolling and bumping, and um, we're always gonna get it here. We know what this channel's about. You know what I'm saying? We 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 uh, we have a good time. But Pepsi challenge, baby.